Today we're installing the Jake's Baja cage designed for the club car precedent. Included in the kit is the driver and passenger side rear main brackets, two identical front main supports, two front main brackets, driver and passenger side, a driver and passenger side rear cage mounts, two identical rear cage uprights, two identical jam mounts, a driver and passenger side door jam, two identical door latches, a front support bar with the Jake sticker and a rear support bar, two identical rear seat adapter brackets, a rear upper bar, a upper front bar, two identical inner roof bars, two Baja doors, the driver side top support bar, and a passenger side top support bar. Now let's get started. As you can see, we removed our canopy, rear struts, rear sweater basket, as well as our front struts. You also need to engage the parking brake and switch the key to the off position. We're using a custom painted cage today. This is for video purposes only. The cage you'll receive will be in all black. Using our retained strut hardware, we're gonna attach the front main support where the front strut was located. Once both bolts are in place, then tighten. We've also retained our strut covers. We're gonna go ahead and slide it over the support now and come back and attach it later. Now we're gonna repeat this on the other side. Now we're gonna remove the front bolt located here on the side skirt. Now we're gonna attach the main front bracket to the same hole location using the 5 16 button head bolt. You'll notice the hinge holes here, they go to the outside of the cart. Now we're gonna attach the front main bracket to the front support bracket using the eight millimeter bolt provided. We're gonna leave this bolt loose for now. Then we're gonna to move to the passenger side and do the same process. Now we're gonna install our rear main brackets using the retained hardware from our sweater basket. You'll notice on the rear main brackets, the two holes in the bottom plate go to the front of the cart, and then this flange on the side will go to the outside of the cart. The middle hole goes over the underbody tab. We're gonna repeat this on the other side. Now we're gonna attach the rear cage mounts to the rear main brackets at these two hole locations here. You'll notice on the cage mount, the angled tab with the slotted hole in it, this should be on the outside of the cart and pointed towards the back corner. We're gonna use a 3 8 hardware, but only hand tighten. We're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. Now that all four bolts are in place, we're gonna tighten these bolts to about 90%. This will give us some wiggle room for installing the rest of the cage, make it a lot easier. Now we're gonna attach our uprights to our rear cage mounts using the half inch bolts. You'll notice that the uprights are the same on top and bottom. You want the bin to go to the outside of the cart. Again, do not fully tighten the bolts. We're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. This kit is designed to be a tight fit. You may need to use a rubber mallet to get some of the pieces into place. Now we're gonna install our top support to the front and rear. You'll notice with the top support, the shorter end goes to the back of the cart. Also, the handle will be offset to the rear. And the difference between left and right is the handles are angled into the inside of the cart. You may need to use a mallet to get it into place. One other thing I want you to keep in mind is the rear underbody is plastic. So you will get a little bit of flex here. Sometimes you can use this to your advantage. We're gonna use the mallet and set our top support in place. Now we're gonna do this on the passenger side. Before we install our front support bar, I wanna show you one thing. We're gonna take a big screwdriver or a pry bar and where the holes are, where the two tubes meet, if you have any overlap with one or the other, use this pry bar and the leverage and try to work that hole and get it as even as possible so we don't strip out our bolts. The front support bar has the Jake sticker on the front. We're gonna place it between the two uprights here and hand tighten with our hardware. Now you'll also notice there may be a big gap here. This is just the flex in the plastic that we had talked about. So you'll put one side in, hand tighten, 
Go to the other side, push it tight, and then tighten that bolt. We're gonna use our 5 16 button head bolts and make sure to only hand tighten. Moving to the back, we're gonna install our rear support bar using the 5 16 button head bolts. But before we do that, we're gonna line up our holes here on our rear posts using the pry bar. Again, moving to the other side, you may notice a pretty large gap. This is due to the rear body's plastic flex. We're gonna push this side in and hand tighten as well. Now we're gonna install the upper rear bar to the top supports. We're gonna use the 5 16 button head bolts, but hand tighten. You'll also notice an accessory bracket. The flat side will go to the top. You're gonna get one side of the bar in and then slide the other side in from the back. Now we're gonna install the front upper bar using the 5 16 button head bolts. Again, you'll notice the mounting bracket here on the front. On the top side, goes up. We're gonna put one side in and then slide the other side in from the center to the front. We're gonna hand tighten and do the same thing on the other side. Again, you may need to use the flex of the plastic underbody to pull on some of the other components to get your holes lined up better. Now we're gonna attach our inner bars to our two upper bars using the same 5 16 button head bolts. We're gonna attach it to the front bar first. One thing you wanna notice on the inner bars is the small bent side. This goes to the rear of the cart. We're only gonna do a couple of threads here on the front side and then on the back, we may have to remove one side of the rear bar so that we can get inside and not scratch up our rear bar. So we're gonna take the screw out and then place the inner bar. We're gonna do the same thing on the driver's side. At this point, all of your hardware should still be hand tightened. We're gonna move down and put our door in. Pretty simple, we're just gonna slide the hinges into the mounted holes here on the front support bar. The hinges are designed with a tight tolerance, so you may need a mallet to help get the door all the way in. First thing we're gonna do is install our door jam to the rear post. You'll notice the tab here for the door latch should be pointed to the front. You're gonna go ahead and take the 3 8 hardware and attach through the post bracket in to the door jam. You only wanna tighten this bolt about 90% or so. You wanna be able to slide it in the slotted hole when we go to line up our door. Now we're gonna attach our door latch to our door jam here using the 3 quarter inch countersunk bolts. The latch will mount on the inside of the bracket here and the flange curves to the outside rear. Don't fully tighten your hardware. You want to tighten your hardware where the latch is just barely able to move and slide through the slotted hole. You don't want it leaning like this. Now we're going to attach the jam mount to the back side of the door jam using the 3 8 bolt. You want to center the bracket in the slots and tighten. We may have to come back and readjust, so we're going to put it in the center. Now using a C-clamp, we're going to move the door jam to where the mount is flush with the bottom of the cart. Once the mount is flush with the bottom of the cart, use a C-clamp and attach it to the side skirt to hold it in place temporarily. Now we're gonna shut our door. We wanna check and see where our catch strikes on our latch. And when you shut the door, if the catch strikes center of the latch cut out here, stop what you're doing, go ahead and tighten up your hardware and move on to the next step, you're good to go. Now we're gonna shut our door. And I can already tell here that our catch and our latch are not lined up. It looks like the door is a little lower so in reality, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our jam down, but we don't wanna just lower it, we wanna pull it back so that the jam moves back with it. So now we're gonna move our jam back a little bit and recheck it. We may have to adjust our bracket up because we still wanna stay flush with the bottom. Once our bracket is adjusted and flush with the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and clamp it again and recheck it. So our door is catching good. Next thing we're gonna look at is our reveal. 
It looks pretty good, but you can tell at the top here it's a little bit tighter. So we're going to come up here to the top. We're going to pull back a little bit here so our reveal is correct, and then we're going to tighten our bolt. Next thing we're going to look at is how far our door is catching inside the latch. So on this cart, we're barely catching. So what we're going to do is open the door and we're going to pull our latch out a little bit and then tighten and then recheck. Now that our door is good, we can move down and secure the lower door jam mount. If a little bit of rattle bothers you up here on the door, you can buy some self-adhered felt pads and place them between the door and the latch and that'll eliminate any rattle. Now we're going to use a 5 16 drill bit and our safety glasses and drill four holes here in the side skirt. Now using the remaining button head bolts, you're going to attach the door jam mount to the side skirt. Once all four bolts are in place, then tighten your hardware. Now we're going to repeat the same steps on the passenger side door. At this point, if you're not installing a rear seat kit, you can go ahead and install your front seat lean backs using the retained hardware. If you're installing a rear seat kit, go ahead and do so now. When you get to the lean back cushion step, go ahead and swap out the lean back brackets that come with your seat kit with the one supplied with this kit. You're going to install it on the lower hole here using the remaining countersunk hardware. After that, you can install your front seat. At this point, we can tighten all of our hardware. Since we're not putting a seat kit on, we're going to go ahead and attach our front seat using the retained hardware. Now that your seat's secure, you're finished installing your Jake's Baja cage designed for the club car precedent. 